Hello everyone, the country is here now. Welcome you to another episode of Chrono Arc. As you can see, even off screen, I have still not managed to f win another run. <clears throat> However, that might change today. I don't know yet. But I will try my darndest to win at least one run at some point on Expert. I've been fairly unlucky. Like, you know the healer party I had? I had a really good run with another uh, healer start, uh, Sis Haas start. I got Punish as one of my best DPS tools on Haas. I got uh, Ironheart later and then even got Joey. What happened? I got the absolute hard countered stage 5 boss in Sekud Karela, who was anti heal. Yeah, that was incredibly, incredibly painful. And I hated it. But. It's just how it be. You have a 33% chance to uh, get the worst boss you can possibly get. I get it. So, today we will not be doing the healer party because you already know it. I'll do. I'll try to farm that up uh, in my own time. Today I feel Azar and Leon. Azar because he's very fun to use and Leon because she's very fun to use and also my main. So, let's go. Oh yeah, I have, uh, I have still got a, I put quick progress on because I was playing early in the morning. I guess I'll just leave it on for this run. But I still enjoy walking more than, uh, teleporting all over. It just means I know where, uh, the enemies are. Alright, we cannot really hit the ball, that thing, so we go like this. Oh yeah, get a damage buff, that's actually kind of nice. Go for this, and our turn. Get a damage buff, but again. Do you do you. 11 and 12. <laughs> Very nice. So first things first, I want to level uh, Zar here, because he has many low-cost damage skills which can help us against uh, the good old I hate the armor. He has Illusion Sword, so I have, first of all, the first skill in hand gets Illusion, illusion Sword buff. If I play or discard it, I get a zero-cost Illusion Sword skill. And his abilities in general are based on me getting a lot of Illusion Swords and then proccing Storming Blade. However, I don't want to take Storming Blade as my first skill because I don't know how many Illusion Sword Calling I get. So I take the this first and Ascending Slash. This is, this is your main combo. Illusion Sword uh, Calling adds two Illusion Swords to your hand. Ascending Slice doubles the Illusion Swords in your hand. We're just absolutely busted. But yeah, that's, that's his base combo basically. Alright, so this has now a buff, which means if I play it, I get this. It's also swiftness, which makes it even better. Uh, you can actually attack here. You redraw one, get another, another attack skill. Easy. And then we hit it again. Nice. Azar is very, very easy to use. He's basically the, uh, the DPS you are meant to use if in your first runs. Because he is very straightforward. You use your illusion sword calling and ascending slices to get a lot of illusion swords and just yeet him in the enemy's faces. Meanwhile, Ian is one of the more complicated characters to use, which is very funny. You get Relentless Swipe here, which is one of her best skills. And sadly, we do not get preparation, but that's not too bad because we already started with a number DPS. So we are not actually that bound by preparation. So we can use Protect Ally instead. This is a good skill for protecting healing gauges. Also to uh, to have attacks proc on her. To get something like a silver steam, we can uh, get bear traps on her. To uh, yeah, we get can you get bear traps on her to make sure that um, she deals more damage. 
Alright, we got these two. They're both level two. I don't know what this does, but it's a Peter thing anyway. I don't know what this does. And okay, it's either an identifying scroll, an enchanting scroll, or a scroll of meters. It was an ID scroll. Nice. Now you know what it does. Uh, you can actually put it on Leah because she does have a debuff and relentless swipe, even though it already has a, a very high chance to proc. Like. Yeah, it's already 110, whatever. And he doesn't have debuffs at all. But it grants critical chance plus 10, so I give it to Azar. Let's see our first boss. It's the dog. Dog go err. Now what we can do here is either basic attack into ascending slice and getting two boys. Or we set up with an ascending uh, with a relentless swipe. Which grants us one more mana next turn. Into an illusion sword and protect allies so that our healing gauges are protected. Now this is Pog. He will attack, our uh, stuff is still protected. Now we will have six illusion swords, which should be just about enough, I think. Think? Oh no, we are one sword short. Press save that again. We redraw one card, we get accelerate. If only we redrew another card. Our healing gauges is, are still protected by protect ally, which is insanely good. Also, this can be up 100% of the time. You can cast this every two rounds, and it, it holds for two rounds. Really good skill. But that's this. Yeah, that was insanely easy. To be fair, Cerberus is a very uh, easy, uh, very easy guy. I don't like this at all. <laughs> this card all skills in it. Where this is played, where the cards played. Hmm. If there was a character who specializes in having few cards in it, that would be great. But like this, right? This charge, one spa. I don't know. I will find out shortly. Yeah, 33, not really good. We wait on that until we get get our third character. Let's identify this potion. Debuff enhance, okay. We really need a healer here, so let's find out who heal uh, which healer we are going to get. Best case scenario, something like a Joey or a Haz. I really like Huzz with Leon. We get every healer but them. <laughs> okay, Sis would be an amazing offensive support. But her healing is rather, uh, rather, sh uh, rather bad. Meanwhile, Pressel has really good healing. But is purely a healer. Her other capabilities are very weak. Hmm. Offensive support for more damage or uh, pure healing. I think I take pure healing here. Mainly so that we're not screwed up when our healing isn't up to par. Because uh, scissor healing, as you guys know, is not the best. And we really need some healing. And what is the first thing we don't get? Exactly. Healing. Alright, we get Holy Light, which is really good. So that's nice. I would fix this, honestly, but yeah, you know what? We fix this. And Golden Skill Book. We get Retribution and we get Fantasy. <clears throat> hmm. So the interesting part about Fantasy is that you just got all your Illusion Swords, which is at first glance really bad. But you draw a lot of cards, and all of those cards are zero cost and swiftness, which means even if you use all of them, they do not uh, get you overloaded. So that could mean even more illusion source than before, and really good draw. <coughs> Retribution is one of uh, Leon's best counters. And Guardian Angel is one of her best heals. Uh, single target heals that Pressel has. So this is a very hard choice. I like 
I'll, I would wager fantasy and retribution. Oh yeah, rare skills, by the way, cannot be fixed because that will be broken. <laughs> I think I'll take retribution just because I feel more safe with it. But damn, I wanted to take fantasy here. I really wanted to take fantasy here. But we can always get what we want. Yeah, we don't have card draw skills yet. Actually, you can get one. Hmm. 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 Recycle is actually not bad. It's only a one for one, but I can um, exchange twice per turn after that for, for, for four turns, which is actually not that bad. Fan out is a two cost. Yeah, I think I take recycle here. Let's see, what does the map say? Okay, we cannot really go that much that far. Oh yeah, and at this point we can move a Bible here. Gonna fight that enemy. We take a setting slice, of course. Alright, that's rather awkward. Redraw the heal. Nice, that's good for next turn. <coughs> we can accelerate, which is very good. Of that. Should I use this on her? Because it deals a lot of damage. Now we get five swords and we win. It really is that easy. Got two more blobs. We want one more to get a level up. We don't have a key. I thought this was a shop for some stupid reason. Uh, okay. Is this a shop? It is indeed a shop. Oh, we get a level up. Nice. Hmm. That's a cursed enemy over there. And I still don't know if I even have the scrolls for it. Though at this point I don't really have to worry about those. Ouch. Okay, he's dead. That's 18 damage, so good enough for this. Oh, 21 damage. I cannot count. Uh, we redraw this, we get a basic heal, we don't really need a basic... Actually, yeah, let's take it. <sighs> the enemy is fast. Oh yeah, this is just about the way that we play this run. Let's get our Zara level up as he's our main DPS this time. Hmm. Shining Aura is the best one we can take here. It's not a great skill by any means, but it's the best one we can take. Hmm. I had to get a drink right there. My voice is getting coarse. Getting a little bit sickly, so that's not great. <coughs> but it is what it is. Life goes on. Alright, let's see. We do get the both keys. We do get this. That's enough to identify. Actually, I want to identify this scroll. It's a vitality scroll. That's really nice, but exactly not what I needed. Let's get the items here. Life's a necklace, grateful Leon. Long sword, bizarre. All right, what's up there? 
A whole lot of nothing. So I'm about 80% sure that this is a lifting scroll. But I'm not gonna take it. Executioner, okay, that's awkward. I want to redraw that anyway, so... Uh, we didn't get what we wanted. Okay, I do want to hit here. Awkward situation, but we can do it. Unless he hits there again, then we will be actually in trouble. Okay, we are not in trouble. Parry, and that should be dead. Oh, Satch, now it's dead. And that's why Retribution is really good. Okay, these are the little. We didn't have a lifting scroll before. Okay, now we have two. Those cur the first curse enemy always gives the lifting scroll, so it, that's why I knew that these are lifting scrolls. Alright, let's redraw Accelerate to effective plan! That's really good here! Because we have Azar with me. Oh, I didn't check for reorganize. Oh, that might have been a mistake. Did we get reorganized? I'll check later. There was a place where I would I was really sure there's gonna be a thing here. Not exactly the plot I wanted, but I take it. Okay, so what is this? Swiftness. Also very good. Okay, we take a vitality scroll here. I don't wanna risk this being uh the wrong one. It doesn't grant you, uh, it, it doesn't have swiftness, so I don't like it. Yeah, look, we do get Storming Blade. Okay, I was checking if, if she got preparation. Blinking Eel is really, really, really good. But Storming Blade is one of our uh, core skills here. That's his best fit skill. It costs seven right now. But whenever we play a zero cost skill, which is great with Vector Flam, by the way, um, it reduces its own cost by one. Which means at some point it will cost zero and we will always uh, cast it as a zero cost. On another hand note, I don't think we will need this. Healing hands. It's an overload, so I don't want it. Locked on, we didn't want that. That's a heal, great. That's nothing. Uh, what is this potion? Another heal. At least we are fully healed. We can level up uh, another character, and I think... Because you have already very good skills, I want to level up Pressel to get a healing coil. Exactly what we needed. Let's go in. It is the Golem. Fun fact, all three bosses of 2-2 have different battle themes. At this point, Swift is actually good. Dark Silhouette, I take it. Huh, we want to use one of those anyway. Mm. This is super good. All of this is super good. I take the Illusion Sword first, scroll. I'll show you why. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't grant swiftness, sadly, but... We had to use healing coil. Uh, hmm. We can just use retribution here. We can redraw this basic attack. So we get this. Then we do this. This is already a free cost. Now it's a 2 cost. This is usually where people die.
We trash this. Hmm. Oh hey, preparation. Why wouldn't I why wouldn't I take a zero cost preparation? <laughs> Against him, it's always good to not have many cards in hand. Which is my main goal here. Mm, I want to discard this. Mainly so I can use both of these. Let's take the double heal. May need to keep it for this turn. You sure are casting the same skill every turn. Stormy Blades and Hands not so bad. Okay, to make sure that they, their things do not go very low. If you do Earthquake again, I swear to God. This man was Pressel dead. Four? Alright, because we used the double heal. It is zero cost. It wasn't a zero cost. Whatever. We still win. Alright. Yeah. And this is just about how it goes. Moonface is a really good equip for raw stats. Nice. I want that on Azar actually. More damage is in fact more damage. Let's heal up Pressel by using two breads on her. The rest should be done by the uh, of the campfire. Let's get Leah to level three, giving her a stunning smite. Great. Got enough money. Anything we need to absolutely buy here? We take the lifting scroll. We don't take the hasty heal. We don't take first aid. Move to next stage. Let's see what this does. This to me looks like a clear case of another illusion sword falling. Now we go here. Mainly because I want another holy light. So that she has one here and one here. We kill one of the basic... Oh. As I said, we kill one of the basic attacks. So we only want his class skills. We have two illusion sword calling, one shining aura, one of these. So I want I want one more of this. One more ascending slice. And that would be pretty good on him. So far, this run's not looking bad. Which is always great. 
Okay, we are all level 3, which is already good. We have a Vitality and a D scroll, two lifting scrolls, an unknown scroll. Oh, I transfer scroll. Oh, that's sad. Whatever. Yeah, it looks pretty good for us right now. Okay, we do need a shop. Do we see the shop? We do see the shop. It's not locked by a battle. Let's get us a key and a actual your normal skill book. Skill book on Azar. No ascending slice. No real good skill. Okay. Hmm. I would need these two together for this to be really good. Hmm. First class, to have, if, this, if this would cost two, then it would actually be a decent skill for a DPS pressle, but three costs us right, way too much for something like that. I think I'll take Crescent Slash. I don't think I'll use it at all, but I'll take it for now. I don't want to reforge the... Uh, the moon phase. I can reforge every other item to get one legendary. Oh! Okay, this is actually better. Okay, we'll we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll actually wait because we just got too many too good items. Uh, that's just that. I really want to enchant this hat. Debuff success rate. You don't have any debuffs, but that's fine. That was a forge. You're dead, so let's take this enemy. One big requirement in this stage is that you actually have a AoE skill. And maybe more than zero speed apparently. Alright. Also, these don't care about your feelings. I take E plan. Very nice. Now we can redraw a basic heal and just do it. Very cool. Use recycle just so we can redraw more. And then we end our turn. Hmm. We do this. Uh, we discard this actually. And then we're sending slice here. They don't really take damage, that's normal. Uh, retribution is nice. So is really the swipe. And they're dead. And that's how these fights work. Also, that's a reason why uh, Retribution is really good, because it's really good in this particular... This is the perfect pu uh, purple thing we don't want to have. I love it. We reforge that ASAP. Two purples we don't want to have into... Great Flush.
I don't know what destiny it is, but Azar is the one that's most likely to have it. And we give this to Leon. We might actually give this to Leon too. And do it like this instead. Because it also grants 3% armor. And 3% evade. And we want to make sure that Leon does not die. We have 5 orbs so we can increase our max mana. Our next goal will be to... Uh, level up Azar to 4. Right. Okay. That's looking good. Hmm. Now we're calling. How about you don't do that every time? Ah, so that doesn't work with that. Good to know. It's dead. Nice. In that case, I don't think we can use Royal Flush. But effectively, man, we'll find out. Okay. Was there any place that looked like it could hold something? Because I, I have two lifting scrolls, so I can't waste one of them. Well, we did find it. Lag of combat? I suppose. I suppose I take it. Cost free, so that's kind of awkward, but if I have cards left, why not? Kinda wanna get card draw here. Uh Pot of Greed, Ray of Light, which is actually better. Search. I think I take pot. Looking good here. I'm definitely gonna live the curse. We are one damage off. Actually, we are not one damage off. Okay, now he's... it's his turn. And that's very nice. We get E plan. And then a swipe, he tries to hit but doesn't. Ooh. At this point, we can just kill him. Lack of combat is probably really nice with uh, Johan. 
Anyway. Also, I think Flag of Combat is the nicest with, uh... With healers that have a free cost heal. Okay, we got everything we want here. Nothing else we really can do, instead of spending money. Which I shall now commit to. Getting the lifting scrolls. And then it's time for me to head in, into the boss fight. Right? Part of me hopes it's not going to be the, uh, the parade tank, but it usually is a parade tank. It's always a parade tank. Oh god, this head would be so good if we didn't die. Welcome to the parade tank! It starts with us all dying. Alright. Very funny. Next turn, I want to use this. We draw this, get another one of these in, this in, protect her. He didn't get stunned? Oh boy. But he's dead. That was chill for turns. And we get a quick focus. Whenever we cast skill, its count on us decreased by one. Which is the worst relic we can get because we use Leon. But that's not too bad because there's a forge here. We can convert one relic for a price of 500 gold. We don't need ID scrolls anymore to uh, to see a scrolls effect, which is way de way better. Not ideal, but way better. But yeah, that that relic was a rare case of a relic that's bad because it reduces countdowns. And with Leon, you really need the countdowns in order to get the parry soft. It would turn uh, it would turn retribution to an instant skill, which makes it not work anymore. Really bad. All those are things you have to be aware of. But we actually got very, very well through it. Now we recruit someone and oh my gosh. These options are all weird. Narhan fits a flexible role. He can be both a good damage dealer, a healer and a tank at the same time. Silverstein is hyper offensive. Even more offensive than uh, Azar. This is a really good uh, offensive healer. So right now, because we already have Pressel, she is an, op an option because she amplifies uh, Azar's damage a lot. And Phoenix is just a meme. 
I I don't I don't know how to make Phoenix work. I kind of want Narhan here because he can do so many things and also deal a lot of damage while taking all the HP uh, equipment that we don't really want. So whatever, we take him. Okay, we take Cold Hearted here, which is his healing skill. Uh, yeah. Then we take Mental Shock, which is his, one of his better attacks. Then we take Nightmare Cinder, which is one of his better attacks. Nice. Also, his passive skill makes me see uh, one enemy's uh, targets. Our skill book goes to Narhan. And man, it was very bad. Plant Spite is not really that great. I mean, it's a one cost. It's one cost Spite, which is basically a taunt but different. Hmm. Apply the identified debuff on a target. But next turn, all allies can target him. Regardless of the. Actually, Trojan Horse is not that bad. It doesn't have swiftness, but okay. Illusion Sword's first scroll can be good. I'm gonna take that instead. Also, as for level ups, I kind of... I mean, Narhan only has two skills, which is already putting him at a disadvantage. Then again, Leon is only on three skills. Azara is really decked out here. But also has less attack than anyone uh, than uh, Leon because of a Moonstone. So at this point, I think I'll well, I swap these. Can I please? I swap these. So he has twenty attack instead, and she has eighteen seven. And then level up. Not Pressel because she's already good enough. Then level up Leon. Still don't get preparation, but we get a second relic this swipe, which is good. As for relics, I'll take that. Knowing what scrolls we have before the fight, really nice. Now we eat a bread on Azar, and we're pretty set. Yeah, let's go. Cool. We have very low funds right now, which is my only bigger problem. That could be alleviated if we get some money. Okay, didn't hit this time. We got some money, and we get some more money from this. Which means we can buy a key. We also really want this, but we can't quite get that. Oh. Uh, I take draw here. Kind of hoping for literally anything else. It should be enough to kill, or it just doesn't hit. Whatever it fancies. That grants us more evade, which is why I used it. Uh, draw. turn <coughs> okay this looks good first we hit him 
Then... Oh, she only has one skill in her hand. That's pain. That is actual unadulterated pain. Can we take this? Uh, hmm. What is your skill? It's just marauding, right? Yeah, against two action counts, which is actually kind of annoying. Sacrifice balloon, flight balloon, and flight balloon. Yikes. A lot of balloons. Okay, do you get me something good? No, of course not. That was moderately funny. Can you guys please die? Uh, do this. Okay, we keep these. We hit with that. God damn it! Okay, we kind of have to kill him this turn. Nice, we did it. I was thinking about a lot of winning that turn and I did- Whoa, what? That, that's a lot of money. That's actually a lot of money. I take it. Give it to me. Mine. Nice. We get a wooden sword, which is two attack. Two attack is very good. Hello, Leon. Hello, very high attack stat. Do I have anything at all that gives you HP? That's I actually kind of sad. We have an ID scroll on us. Attack power increase. Hello, Azar. 21.5, 21.8. Really good. I want to increase my max mana to level 6. And after that, it's just leveling. I got swipe, which is great. More stuff. Hmm. Not quite what I wanted, but I have to take it.
Okay. That was massive, by the way. Okay, he hits there, but actually parry, bonk, stun. Do the same thing again with retribution? Actually. We don't need to play uh, smart sometimes. We just need to play. Sounds stupid, is stupid, but it is how it works. Yeah, we take both our other, uh Wow, thanks. Thanks for nothing. Debuff and hands, okay. We actually do not need debuff and hands. Okay, we can identify one more potion. I keep that, I don't keep this. Heal. Nice. I didn't need that. Let's take it. Do we need tablets? Oh yeah, we want to keep tablets. Tablet is really good. Uh, against one boss. Okay, we want to increase our maximum mana and then we level up Azar. Yeah. We're taking our first scroll. Narhan is a little bit neglected here right now. So is Pressel actually. I, get, I have to get Pressel some more skills. Pressel gets the next level up. Okay. Bonk. And he is stunned now. Come on. Do we really both have to go first? Bat down. Pressel gets the next level up. And I think it's double heal here or shining pillar. It's actually shining pillar. We have enough money for a second key, which is great. There's no one of these here. Pain resist, I take it. We definitely buy another key. 
have a skill book. That goes here. We take another mental shock. Max of health, whatever. Where's the Narha because it's max health? Oh, it's actually good on him. Mm, that was this. I'm gonna feed it some more unidentified potions, aka one. Okay, two. Thatch. Speed of one bread. The rusty hammer. Yeah. We have too many equips and too few of them are actually good. Now let's do the scary part. Which is a boss fight. And... Consider if this is the bomber cloud, I might just die, but whatever. I didn't use the vitality scroll. Okay, this is fine. 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 These bosses are fun. Crescent Slash, I save. Nice. Still use her because uh, there's a higher chance to hit her than to get good damage off her. Like her hit rate is 86%, which is good enough for good old Nico. That was just a means to get this at the, uh, at the top. Uh. Okay. Uh, mental shock would be great here. Okay, this fight is so far really going really well. This will hurt. I don't actually want to hit you, right? which is the funny part. Okay. This is the great part about this fight. I can just do this. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You have only one stack, one stack, one of both. Honestly, not worth losing your minds from. Also, because this is a basic skill, I uh, this doesn't care about being used on the same turn as our basic skills, which is really good. Let's protect Pressy. Relentless swipe, I take it. That's now two or three, which is a bit more hard. But at this point in time, we can just tablet her and this, this will be fine.
Okay. That hurts a little bit, but meh. I don't want to use Stunning Smite, actually. Hmm, not bad. Okay, Wiz instead. And you? That's you. Go full damage. Kill you twice into a relentless wipe. I can't get a cast this funnily enough. Unpain this. Mainly because of crits. And next turn we should win. We're full health. No, oh, come on. You literally just did that because I said it. He's a crap. Whatever. And now a gold skill book, and we got Vazerold. Not really a good equip, but whatever. I wonder if we buy for here because the campfire doesn't actually heal so much. That was kind of mean. I said it, and they were like, "Yeah, well, what? What if we just speed up?" Gold skill book. Then United grants us maximum health for uh for two turns, which is great for him, but not so great for anyone else. Mm. Celestia Wing for one turn makes a prophecy whenever we exchange a skill, which is actually not bad. And this is actually um Yeah, this is actually pretty decent. I want this. Honestly, it's a bit too costly, but considering we have just... We can basically say we have 7 mana with how we play, because we parry almost every single turn. But yeah. I want to level up Lillian once more. To hopefully get... We didn't get Burp. We did not get preparation, so we take a last protect ally. That's pain. But we have another chance very close, very soon. Anything else we can do? This is just this, this is just this, this is already used. Anything else in your shop? ID scrolls in case we get some more potions. What? Why? Why not? Did we get the thing? Okay, we didn't get the thing. It's not here. Surprised me if it was here. Okay, I cannot find it. Unless it's here, but I don't think it is. Yeah, we couldn't find it. Sad, but true. Alright, there it is! Preparation! We take it. Mm, I think I will keep Protect Ally as my fixed skill. And forget the other for, uh, Protect Ally. I don't need preparation as my fixed skill right now because we have so much damage. I'm just glad we have preparation at all. We are in a weird spot. It is a good spot, but it's also very weird. Okay, next up. 
Uh, I want to level up Narhan once more. I want to make sure that Pressel gets another healing skill, and I want to get Azar as high as I possibly can. No more mana, maybe one more draw card. Yeah. Our goals for the day. Also, I'm not going to use Vazerold. It's not good. The only good thing about it is the speed. To be fair, we can put it on Narhan. Because the speed is actually not uh, actually good. Do we have anything purple we can rebuild? Yes, technically we do. Okay, that's actually good, but I want more legendary stuff. This will be great on someone who targets both. Which is funny. Because that means it's good on him. What? Can I not, not change these up? I'm gonna switch those. Weird. Alright, we got a forge, which is really cool. We got access to almost the entire map. Okay, we do not have a key. Let's go here first. Ah, oh, it's a double snowman. Okay. Uh, yeah, man, I'm shocked. And Nightmare Syndrome, which is both of them. No, it doesn't work like that. Sag. Plan. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that's nice. Recycle. Just we get cold hearted. That's actually what I wanted. Make a prophecy here to ascending slice. And that's why we do such things, because this is a broken combo. Okay, we take mental shock, but honestly, we just cast with it in the swipe. If only, the enemies wouldn't be extremely fast. Okay, went to shock. And we win! Insane. With just enough for a skill book. We really need more skills on uh, another healing skill on Pressel. And we take the blinking heal.
That's actually Pog. That is actually very Pog. And that's why I like that skill. Also preparation. No. <laughs> yeah, we are in an extremely interestingly good spot. Uh, you take another storing blade because why the hell not? And I want to get another draw. Why not last resort? Dark Priest Clothing! Hello, Pressel. I have, I have heard you would like to deal damage sometimes. God. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. If I have a healing skill that I would rather use to deal damage, I can just do that now. Don't I have a meter scroll? Yeah. I do need all of these equips, bro. God's blessing. Okay, this. Ouch. That was a lot of damage. And that's why his skill is so good. E plan. Like, come on! Did you think I would have survived otherwise? I don't. Very gen. Nice. Okay, I kind of want to use a meet us from on one of the barrier gens. That enough to get a key? I think a key was only 600. A key was in fact only 600. Assassin's Ring. It's negative maximum help, so it's not good for any of the characters who still need stuff. Do we have any other blue equip which we don't need? Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna use but I already have so much good stuff.
Number no enemy here. Can I level up Azor again? No, I need six. I get nine in total, which means I have one too much, but I can level up a uh, Narva. I will take another Cold Hearted. You are the secondary healer. Okay, Relentless Swipe is actually, actually. Yeah, I take Swipe. Was to dodge for bad kills were passive. Which was my goal here. Oh yeah, that spine did. Uh Oh there are. Ah. That's awkward. Yeah. Uh, let's redraw this, and now we're gonna swipe the next turn. We take a flag. We don't need it, but we take it. It's two, right? Yeah, it's two. I should start to know my skills. That would be very, very helpful. You guys are still alive? You should die. Yeah. Alright. This is looking so good. This whole run is looking really solid. Azar, level up. Uh, take Sword of Infinity. I don't actually want to tribute too many. I tribute one. Get a Soul Stone. Okay. Probably one of the most useless tributes, but I take it. Alright, there's no more keys to be had. No more Soul Stones to be gathered. Nothing more I can do. Except I can pop an ID scroll of this. Which is a mana potion. Pop an ID scroll on this, which is a weakening potion. Don't really want to keep this, but we have it now. Uh I have a white LD scroll, I have a swiftness scroll. Let's go in. It is Zaripa! Did we ever do a Reaper together? Hmm. E plan seems the best here. Okay, we get just another E plan for, for free. This party is, by the way, extremely good at killing adders. Calling. Hmm. That's just funny. That was very funny. Uh, Blade Starfall. Or later. What do you mean first turn I still have 6 mana and use a 0 cost ascending slice? Is it called ascending slice? Storming blade, sorry. Okay.
That might have been a mistake. But I live for mistakes. Have it. You take a preparation. Okay. I don't want to attack him. Shit, I have one mana to you. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Let me try all of this. So that I can defeat this guy. It won't get, it won't get off him. You die. Yep, you die. Hmm, we could still do it. I've used this before. Narhan gets a death sentence. Last resort is binded. No matter what happens, it lands on her. Okay, next turn will be painful.
Nice, you die through the intoxication. You dodged it, you absolute mad lad. Narhan was an absolute mad lad right there. He really was an absolute goddamn mad lad. Didn't we get a purple equip we didn't want? No, we got this. Now we can make it into something really good. I mean, you lose some max health, but... Who actually cares, right? It's still maximum health! Okay. We use our last revive here. Then we go here. This is gonna be a long video. <laughs> uh, you get another. No, actually, double here. Can take another level up and take. Hmm. Paranoia. Let's go to the next stage. What? We didn't do a Forgotten King yet. We didn't do a Forgotten King yet. Do I not get to do a Forgotten King in this run? not get to do the Forgotten King in this run. That would be really sad, because this was like a very good run. Not giving me the last stage man and this this was actually a winning team welcome to the arc arc is infinite wow that's some vibes over
And the game killed itself. <laughs> the game actually just killed itself. It just closed. What the hell? No, that, that was just a very weird ending. However, that's what it is. Uh, yeah, that's all I have time for today. Let's see you in another episode. That was a very weird ending, but it was successful for sure. Bye-bye.